Welcome back Legionnaires and we're here with another Rome 2 battle feud today and then we have another siege battle and this one is a 4v3 we have Nabatea, Carthage and Epirus defending against an army of well of four as what happens in a 4v3 we have Swaby, we have Egypt, we have Sparta on the attack and we have Carthage as well I mean so yeah the biggest surprise here being Carthage doing an assault uh, Usually a very good defensive faction, but we'll see how well they do on the defense. And also we'll see whether this extra army will make a difference in this coming battle. Apparently it is a very, very close battle, I've been told. Uh, the replay was sent in by someone on the Discord. So if you want to also send in your replays uh, that you think are really good and could feature on the channel, then don't forget to join the Discord. The link is down below. And there's a channel on the Discord where you can submit your replays. But anyway, on with the battle. So, it looks like the first assault is going to come from, well, with the, with the towers, it looks like Thorax Swords are going to come forward along with Mercenary Naval Fighters. We have Epirus' Wall Artillery here, firing down. Epic shots. Yeah, they actually, to be fair, what's he focusing down then? Oh, Arch is not bad t target, to be fair. I mean, just generally everything in this blob, it's kind of carrying through and hitting everything in behind, so that's actually very, very good. Um, we have a lot of artillery over here as well for Carthage. I'm not sure what he's firing at. Okay, he's firing at this bit of the wall here. It would seem this, this one's the only one that's damaged. He's not actually got any troops here though. That's the thing. You've got to have troops ready because otherwise the defenders will just seal up this gap or pull back to a better spot and uh, any chance of surprise is kind of gone. It looks like Carthage might be first to the walls. He's also got tortoises, um, which is not a bad idea. Um, but I mean... He's putting them all in the same spot, so it's like, it's just going to be, become one big breach instead of three different breaches, which could be a better idea. He could stretch out Epirus a lot better, then he could put one here, put one here, put one here, and then he, Epirus has to defend three spots instead of just one huge one. But anyway, it looks like Carthage is going straight onto the walls. I mean, he's got Periokoi Spears, he's got Spartan Hoplites. I mean, they're not a bad faction to have on the Assault, but Hoplites just... They don't do the same amount of damage as, say, swords do, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. Also, this is, I think, with lower funds than what I usually play with. So, I mean, I don't know how good Nabatea will be. Nabatea is often you're able to, like, bring a lot of elite troops um, for a fairly good price, and they'll match up quite well with most of the other, like, major factions then. But it looks like we've got Carthage getting troops onto the wall. It's going to be Carthage going to be facing off against Carthage. And with a bit of help of Navatea, while the rest of Navatea is over here facing Swaby, who's on the walls already. So it looks like that's that. Well, that's good for Swaby. He needs to get on the walls and get off them as soon as possible because he's uh. Well, he's looking like he's look at this round shield silver uh, swordsman. Uh, round shield swordsman is what I'm trying to say. Bit of a tongue twister. Um, getting focused down. What are they getting focused down by? Navatea and heavy archers. I yeah, these guys are good. Definitely want to bring these guys to the battle. They've got, not got a bad angle, you can see them up there. We're going to have another volley. Loose! Okay, no, we're firing over here now. Not a bad decision. Start firing at these guys, get these ones off the wall. And what we've got here, Caravan Guard coming up. Interesting to see how good these guys are. They're actually focused, these uh, Round Shield Swordsmen focusing down these lot. We've got Desert Hot Plights, Caravan Guard, Noble Swords. Has he brought any pikes? Has Nabatea brought any pikes? He has brought Thorax Pikes, good. But I mean, yeah, he's a lot of round shield swordsmen. We've got some sword masters as well, but they're getting focused down. They've not got much armor, so he needs to get off the walls as quickly as possible and get inside. Carthage has lost his general. I've just realized this. Ah, is this Carthage in Carthage's... Carthage's artillery has fired all the way back here and been shooting Carthaginian's general. I don't know if you've seen it. I mean, it's hidden now, but I think they lost a lot of men, like, with the wall collapsing. That was really unfortunate. I didn't see that, but that's really unfortunate. Uh, looks like... Well, Spar is on the walls now as well, is what I was going to say. Um, but we've got Royal Peltas ready. We've got... Well, okay, another wall's come down here. This is good to see. Oh, they had tortoises over here as well. I swear they had towers. I swear they brought some towers. Um, but oh well. That's good then. That's what I wanted to see. Multiple choke points being made. And they are making multiple. So Carthage is doing a good job, actually, I'd say. For, for a poor attacking... Uh, for, well, he has actually got a couple of towers. Yeah, I did think so. 
Um, for a poor attacking army, he's not doing a bad job. But Perioko Spears, he kind of pulled out at the last minute, and that's probably not going to have helped him there. So let's see. Let's see how this happens. See what happens here. Oh, arrows bouncing off. They're taking a few towers, which is good. They need every tower they can get to. So forming square formation, not a bad decision. What's he got bringing in? Here is a Sparta. A very good unit. A uh, small unit, but they're a good unit. Then what have we got over here? We've got mercenary Cretan archers focusing down. Okay, Egypt looks like he's having a really tough time here. Oh my gosh, look at the bodies up here. And these are all Thorax swords. These are good units. Like, especially for this, like, tier of uh, fighting, basically. We put it like that. I don't think... I don't know. Maybe just Navateus is bringing a really cheap army. But, yeah, looking at Navateus' army, I'm presuming, like, the funds aren't as high as they usually are for our battles. This looks excellent. Excellent, certainly, for uh, Carthage. Focusing down all these Egyptians. Can't complain there. Libyan infantry mopping up these Thorax swords. I mean, it looks like the Libyan infantry are also losing. It's not a good sign. But Libyan infantry here doing okay, holding back these Thorax swords. If they can hold these towers, that'll be great. I'd start focusing down the archers, though, if I was Carthage. Start focusing down those archers. Because they're just wasting their ammo. Look, this is... I mean, it's going to get some kills. But, like, all these arrows here, most of them, I'm sure, are hitting the wall or hitting the crenellations, and most are going over the wall. Like this unit's pretty safe from from archers. This unit needs to carry on going forward. Charge. Yeah, here he goes. It's going to deal with these archers. Very good. Clear up these archers. That is one way to get rid of them. That is one way to get rid of them. Right, how's Swavy doing? Bouncer power is not looking good, though, for the defenders. Obviously not with a, a 4v3. Looks like Swaby's just going to happily just sit here. He's lost quite a few units, I think. He's got a lot of sword masters in reserve. He's got berserkers as well. Oh, hex bearers and berserkers. I've not actually seen the hex bearers in a long time. Let's have a look. At, look at these boys. Well, I should say girls, <laughs> because they're hex bearers. They are a, a female unit, one of the few in this game. But yeah, then there's the berserkers. They look very good. So I mean, so maybe just needs to be patient. I probably start getting stuff off the wall, so because otherwise. Um, it's just going to get focused down. Longbow Hunters, they're not great. I'd definitely save your ammo though for late game. And there's no really real need to engage Navatea here with his archers. Especially when I think probably Navatea is using quite a lot of his ammo up. But Egypt does look in a sticky spot here. He's desperately trapped on this wall. We've got more fighting over here. We've got more we've got Iberian swords fighting over here against more Thorax swords. The Thorax swords are losing to the Iberians. That's... That's a surprise, I'll put it like that. Iberian swords usually break really quickly. They're not very good, you can see them here. Look at them, they're pretty awful. That guy's died because he's that awful. Yeah, these guys are... Look at the armor difference. They should be breaking, but that's a real concern then for Egypt. Uh, it's now gone even. Um, but I mean, yeah, he's got plenty of living infantry in reserve. I mean, Navatea's sending over some stuff. What's he sent over? Some caravan guard. Egypt looks like he's going to send a lot of his army around this way. He's not li liking his uh, chances over here. No surprise, really. You've got Hellenic Royal Guard that he's going to put on the on the walls. That's that's a no-go. Never put pikes on the wall. Especially if you... Well, especially in this scenario where he's not taking the wall. There's still Carthaginian troops here. And even still, when you take them off the wall, um, Carthage would be smart to hold down here. Like, this is now a concern. Egypt now is going to be able to march down here. Carthage has to get this unit and get it down here, but he's not going to do it. And Carthage is going to... Not Carthage. Egypt's going to get off this wall. 65 men and he's gonna be able to attack there we go he's given the order are we gonna see a javi throw we might no it looks like looks like they use all their javis but they're gonna chase down these uh, egyptians and they'll catch these guys quite easily there you go caught them and um, this unit will have to well i i just leave this unit if you can't catch it turn around and then just get navatea or someone to come over here and write write it down or use one of your other units like your most noble fighters just surround them what I do now um, certainly is certainly send over a unit around them. But I mean, Car this is the real area of issue, I'd say. Carthage has not really got a lot of stuff. He's and there's two units here. There's yeah, one of these units, these axe warriors, needs to go over here, just get ready. I mean, they've got noble swords on the wall here. 
but I'd say this is the real concerning area. Egypt is now sending troops over to help Carthage. But this uh, tower's on fire. That's a good sign. One less way for them to come up. They've got a really good defense over here. This is, um, I imagine, where it's going to come down to. They've got another breach point, which is really good. Um, it's Carthage. Is Carthage in blisters out of ammo, I presume? Uh, I'm not really sure what he's been firing at. Oh! Sparta's cavalry inside. Sparta's cavalry inside. This is really good. Okay, so let's charge into the rear of some uh, Salmonite warriors for Epirus. Just seen these. They aren't great cavalry, but it is cavalry. Um, and Carthage seems to be making a bit of a some moves here anyway. Epirus has not got much here. I mean, like, he can surround this unit very easily. If Carthage just... Not Carthage. Uh, Sparta sends in his troops. He'll do just fine. Oh, cavalry charge here. Nope. Being put off by the Royal Peltas. Another volley. Another volley, men. No. No. They'll hold. Oh, no. There you go. That wasn't a bad volley, but it wasn't a, wasn't great. Actually, no, that's really good. <laughs> that was really, really good. Yeah, that cavalry unit's been uh, nullified because of that. Yeah, it's broken. Uh, but the, so are the spear, uh, so are the sword, sorry. They're not even um, some knights, they're Italian. Apologies. They do look exactly the same, though. Or well, most of them look exactly the same. Royal Peltas here, though. They'll hold a little while longer. 75 of them. 72, in fact. Um... They'll hold. I mean, it looks like they're holding over here as well quite well. Royal Peltas. If I was Epirus, I'd certainly get some pikes up. Yeah, he's got some Royal Hellenic pikes. Or Royal Hellenic guards, I should say. Put them in here. You get through these men in no time. Uh, only issue is that they've obviously got archers. And I don't think any of uh, the defenders brought cavalry. Well, Carthage has his general. Actually, Epirus has his general. If Epirus could get his general out, he could take all that cavalry out quite easily. He just needs to send it out there. Yeah, send it out here and then go around. He could deal with all his archers. And then he could be quite happy to set his pikes at wherever. But it looks like the defenders are uh, doing just fine at the moment. They're not doing excellent, but they're doing just enough to you know keep that advantage. I mean, that advantage of one whole army. Um, so we'll see what happens. So we've got Royal Spartans in it now against Royal Peltas. It's the Battle of the Royals. Who will win? A Royal Rumble, one may say. But um, I'd say the Spartans will win this. Just on just on numbers. Uh, also, they just they can flank round if they really desperately wanted to. There's a gap right between these two units. Or just go this way. But anyway, let's have a look. Yeah, Egypt's got his pikes on the wall. This is a begin. If you're a beginner or new to Total War... Or just don't know what to do with pikes if you're assaulting. Just don't do this. Don't put your pikes on the wall. They're not going to be doing their greatest here. Um, and these units here, they're losing decisively, but they're probably getting so many kills um, at the same time. And he's also wasting a lot of his ammo and just shooting men on the walls. Just save your ammo. It's not the greatest uh, angle anyway. Someone's firing artillery. I thought it might be Swaby, but Swaby's not brought artillery. Was it? Ah, it might be Egypt. Egypt might be firing as artillery. He's actually lost too. Wow. Um, yeah, I think if I was Egypt, I wouldn't really bother about shooting your artillery or anything. Unless you're going to shoot it like here. Make a breach. This actually would be quite a good spot to make a breach somewhere around here. Um, basically, it's then going to mean Carthage is, uh, well, very much open. And it looks like he's very much open over here anyway. Looks like they've really pushed through. And they're being held back by Cretan archers, and that's it. So, I don't know if these guys are out of ammo, but they've been sent in to die. Um, because they're not going to hold back these Royal Thorax swords. or well, not Royal Thorax, just Thorax. Um, but yeah, that that's unfortunate for these Carthaginian archers. They're not going to survive much longer. There's some missiles coming in now. Uh, and we've got some Libyan infantry joining the fight. Oh no, noble fighters, okay. The elites have been sent in. Uh, and these guys will certainly probably help clear up the situation here. They might not. They might, they'll might. they certainly stabilize it for a while. Um, whether they'll win it. Losing decisively. Losing. Actually, these units are losing. Uh, well, Egypt's are. Carthage is doing a bit better. There's artillery definitely firing here. I'm not sure wh whose it is, though. It's got to be Egypt's. Yeah, I think Egypt... Oh, is Egypt trying to make up a breach here? He is, I think. Four, six... He's focusing on different parts of the wall. Never a good idea. 
Um, or he's trying to shoot in the back here at these men. Okay, here comes the shot. Where's he actually firing? He's firing just about everywhere. Uh, I do apologize for the lag. It's a little laggy. Um, I guess it's just because it's a 4v3. There's a lot of men on the battlefield. Um, but yeah, if I was Egypt, I just... I know it's a, it's a stable one, but just fire at one thing. Don't fire at these units back here. You won't hit these guys. Knock a wall down. Help Carthage get inside the walls. That's what you could do. Do your teammate an absolute solid. I mean, Carthage right now could get off this wall. Pretty much. It's got Sacred Band as well. Okay, I don't know what happened here. I don't know if this is a pull through or what. Uh, meh, it's not really. This unit can kind of get out. This area here is poorly defended. He these aren't even, uh, yeah, these are friendly living infantry. So, yeah, they kind of got out now. Um, but really, they've just choked themselves still. And I'd get around here. Uh, the Mercy Noble Fighters is going for another charge. I wouldn't have sent these guys out, to be honest. I don't know who just, what the decision was here. This unit needs to really desperately stay in here to hold these guys back. This is four units they could kill off. Yes, he's just done it again. I don't know what he's doing, really. Uh, it's Carthage. It's a... Heavy melee unit, you're wasting it, just running it backwards and forwards. It's not a shock infantry unit. Um, but yeah, we're breaking. A, they're breaking a lot of uh, Egyptians over here, though. This is looking good. Lots of thorax swords dying here. This is Carthage has done an excellent job here. I don't know what he's doing over here precisely, but um, if I was, I pretty yeah, I'd probably start falling back some troops. I wouldn't be sending up more troops now if I was Carthage. I pull back what you can, um, including these archers. Pull back these two units, and you, yeah, there you go. The order's been given. I think they're going to start falling back. They've realized that it's too much. Swaby's now inside. Um, this is a bad sign. So Epirus has got troops over here. These Car uh, these Carthaginian, these uh, Cretan archers still have ammo as well, which is not good. Focusing down some round, round shield swords. These guys are going to come in and probably, well, condemn them. I don't know what happened to Navate. He just seemed to get vaporized. Or did he fall back? Fell back with some of his army, but um, yeah, it looks like it was a big fight here, and it did not go well for uh, for Navatea. Yeah, lots of dead. I wouldn't say there was many Swabians dead, um, but it looks like it's going to be a big defense at this um, at the top of here. Oh, I didn't see these. We have fiery balls of justice on a very nice slope. Excellent, excellent, and we've got pikes here as well. We've got normal pikes. We've got Navatea and heavy archers. Hopefully, they've got ammo left. Rakeem Palace Guard. We've got lots of Nabataeans with archers as well. And I presume they have ammo if they're setting up there. We have a Bastion Ballista in defense. Excellent. Okay. They just need to defend this choke point here. They've got pa uh, more Palace Guard, Thorax Pikes. Okay. So I think most of the attackers are in and they're doing what they uh, need to be doing. Okay. Are they firing at the Fireballs of Justice or just at the archers? I don't know. Either way, they... Uh, there's more fireballs of justice here that are getting ready. I certainly have troops ready to set up because um oh these Carthage Carthage I, why do I want to call everyone Carthaginians at the moment? Spartans. I guess it's because there's two Carthaginian armies on the on the battlefield. If there's two, that means everyone's a Carthaginian. You're a Carthaginian. I'm a Carthaginian. I mean, it wouldn't be a worse thing than being a Carthaginian to be honest. But these two units, I don't know if both of these are going to get out. That's a real shame. Oh, they are. I think it'll be surprised if yeah oh maybe not the Cretan archers certainly aren't going to get off here. Um, we have general for uh, Swabian here now noble riders they're just going to cut down these guys. Oh no maybe not they're going to pull back that was a bit of mercy. Um, I guess well played by Carthage he kind of um, saved the archers ever so slowly but I mean they're going to just get surrounded here by these round shield swordsmen. Uh, unfortunately so these two units of Carthaginians aren't going to get off here yet. If I was um, Nabte I'd start getting the rest of your men out of here. These caravan guard are certainly get out. Nabatean, Thorax swords, uh, Thorax pikes, sorry, get out. Um, Axe warriors just get out. I wouldn't send these guys back in. They're just going to get surrounded. But here we go. The caravan guard engaging. We've got sword masters. These guys will take a while to break. They're in their shield, uh, their square formation. But they're not the greatest in comparison to some of the other units. Like Rakeem Palace Guard can bring a really good unit. Definitely is a... Uh, much better unit than this, and they'll hold a lot longer. But um, with the Axe Warriors support, they might do okay. They'll do just fine, I'm sure. Oh! That guy just got s 
like punched him and then just got stabbed. Poor man. But uh, yeah, it looks like okay. So they did manage to stop uh, Swaby from really getting up. This could work. Okay, so if they put the pikes here and they can surround these units, they need to be careful of the general. But yeah, this is going to be a problem as well. Swaby has a lot of ammo left. And he's kind of pulled through there. I'm, actually, I wouldn't... I don't know. He sort of pulled through. Because there's definitely... Oh, no, it's not him pulling through. It's um, Carthage pulling out. So there's pikes set up ready to let, basically, Carthage get that unit of swords out. I'd be getting the, sword, uh, the pikes out, really. A more expensive, uh, more expensive unit in, uh, like, use than the swords. Swords are great, but, I mean, I mean... You want the pikes. You want the pikes for the final stand. Cavalry charging into the back of... I think they just pulled everything out of that, didn't they? Yeah, they pulled everything... Or tried to pull everything out. Like, with a pull-through, and that did not work. Uh, that unit's going to break. But they have caught the general. So there's quite a bit of... I'd say... There's certainly a pull-through here by Carthage. Because he pulled through... This this unit here pulled through, like, a couple of units of Swaby to then try and get out, and he's going to die for it. The pike's already breaking at 90 men. This is why you don't send your pikes in so early. And, like... Especially when you know that the ammo for the enemy is still so high. Um, but they're getting focused on. They're also getting a bit surrounded by the cavalry. I mean, this form it's just not a great place to set up. It's not a choke point. It's very much in the open. Um, it's a real killing ground for Swaby now. Just to take this pike unit out. And I won't be surprised if they get less than maybe 100 kills. Let's have a look. Let's see what how many kills these guys would have got. 40 kills. Yeah, they, they could have got in the hundreds if they wanted to. Um, if they set up back there, they could have gotten in the hundreds. I also don't know why they're not just sending these men back. Like, yeah, cool, let's hold this um, this bridge. But at the same time, they, they need to get more men back. They haven't got masses in defense. Uh, the attackers certainly have a lot more. I mean, Egypt spent, which is good for them. Egypt spent, but that's the only one that's spent, really. The rest have not really used any of their ammo as well, which is the most concerning thing. But yeah, there you go. The Caravan Guard didn't last very long. I didn't think they would. They're not the greatest units. If you're going to play as Nabate, you have to play them when they have when high funds, I find. Um, because there's certainly factions uh, that can beat you um, with lower funds. They can still bring great armies with lower funds. Like Rome, for instance. Uh, Swaby, it would seem. I might be wrong, and they might have had really high funds. He's just brought really terrible units. But, um... Well, they're not terrible, but they're not as good as some of the other units you can bring. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, it looks like, uh, Swaby's gonna set up down here. Ready for the assault. Whatever happens, though, he knows what... Whatever happens, he's gotta come up this hill, and they're gonna set these balls on fire. There's no way they can stop that. Unless they force them back with archers, but they have to do... Really coordinate them. So, I'd set your archers up. Um, at the like the longest distance they can fire, start firing, see if they'll force their men back due to losses, and then you send up your infantry. And then maybe we've got to send up more men to die through archers to set off these balls, or they give up the balls um, when your infantry cross uh, past them and you hold that, that, that ground now. That's the only way they can do it. Um, we'll see what happens anyway. I think we missed these ones. Oh, we did! No! I do apologize. Um, it looks like they did some damage. I'll try and make sure to get the other ones. I'll keep an eye on when Swaby pushes forward. Um, but yeah, so it looks like Carthage did fall for the old trick. It looks like he just had to do it. Uh, I don't think he got many kills, to be honest. You saw, like, the fire coming off some of them. It, was, it got a few, but not many. They don't do... They don't get many, usually. Um, unless you really blob up your men. But here we go. We've got pikes up in now. This is a concern. So they need to get some pikes in here of their own. Um, they've got African Pikemen, they've got Royal Hennet Guard. I'll get these archers on the wall, get men on the wall, start focusing down like the archers behind. Because, uh, Sparta's still got a lot. A lot of ammo. I'm pretty sure he didn't use up any of his ammo. He just kept his men outside the city. Which is why I was thinking they could have used the general uh, of Epirus to go and focus him down. But, I mean, Sparta, for a poor attacking army, is not doing a bad job. With the help of Egypt, he's doing okay. He's got some Rhodian Slingers in here. Um, but yeah, I'd definitely be focusing down these uh, Cretan Archers. They're really blobbed up. Like, these Rhodian Slingers and the Cretan Archers, it's all just overlapping. I mean, oh, what's he focusing down here? Pikes. Yeah, get these Pikes back. There's no need to send these guys up yet. Got to get Archers on the wall, kill these Archers first. Unfortunately, these two men, these two units here are probably going to die. 
Unless you send up some more troops. You can send up some throwaway troops, like some archers. Um, okay, looks like we have got some units coming up. This is also the uh, other way to avoid uh, the fireballs of justice. Send up really weak units. See if they'll set off the uh, set off the uh, balls just on a few weak units. It looks like they're going to set up some archers. They might just focus down these guys. Have these guys got ammo? Uh, no. Okay, so these Navitaeans don't have ammo. So any firing um, by... Swaby is just a waste, but it looks like he's just going to send in some Rodian slingers that I presume also have run out of ammo. We have some Thorax swords which will certainly stiffen the line and help win this fight. And then we've got, <laughs> we've got Germanic bows that have snuck around. Very clever. Um, but yeah, I just... Oh, he set them off himself! Wow, okay, he set these guys off himself. Okay, not a bad idea. Okay, okay, so they're being used against the defenders. Look at that. Oh gosh That's not a bad idea actually really well played by Swaby there didn't realize attackers could send off the their own uh, their, their own balls, but or the enemy's balls. Sorry, but uh There you go, he's got four left or five, but He's also gonna lose that arch unit for nothing then uh, but that's really smart by so maybe they need to really engage every single unit. Okay, they've got a few left, actually. They've got about seven left. But these two over here are out of nowhere and going to do nothing. Um, but yeah, that's really clever. I didn't realize you could do that. So yeah, these poor guys are just going to get poked down to die. There you go. They're all breaking. But I think it was worth it. Those three units dying, worth it. They got rid of most of the defenses here. And now Swaby can set up troops. Uh, whether Swaby's got ammo left, I'm sure he does. I don't think he used masses. I could be wrong. But they've got plenty of good units. I'd certainly be sending up spears first. Put these Rakeem Guard in the breach. He's gonna set his general's going out. I press his general's already going out. Okay. And we've got pikes in here as well. We've got Hellenic Royal Pikes. Or Guard, I should say. We've got Rakeem Guard in here as well. So we've got a good mix of good spears and good... Pikes, we've got African pikemen in here. If they can deal with the Spartan pikes, which are the best pikes in the game, that'll be a big win for the defenders, but they've got to get archers up here. They've got to start focusing these guys down. There isn't much other than archers and pikes in here. There's a few units of hot pikes. Uh, I can see some here as a spar, but they're setting up more pikes over here as well. Thorax pikes now. They really need to remember that there's Swaby still to defend against as well. Also, I'm surprised... Actually, yeah, I just realized they knocked down this wall here. They can't actually get up this way. What was Carthage doing with his ammo? Was he just trying to snipe the other Carthaginian general? If he was, it's a bit scummy. Um, general sniping so early on. But yeah, he didn't even knock down a bit of wall that they could have sent, like, get through. Wait, could they have done it over here? No. This is just, yeah. So there's only two ways in. Um, which is just a bit of a... Bizarre, he's better taking out uh, towers. If he could reach the walls, he could certainly reach the towers. Okay, so we've got Epris' generals coming out. Uh, it's a bold move. I don't know what he's quite going for. I guess he's going for the archers. Uh, he's not going to make it. We've got Swaby's general down here. We've got some infantry down here. We've got swordmasters. They might kill some of the archers, but they won't kill all of them. I mean, Epris is al almost spent as well. He's only got uh, He's only got a pike unit left, I think. And maybe... Oh, no, he's got two pike units left. A Hellenic Royal Guard and a just a normal pikeman unit. Sacred Band coming up now for Carthage. Not a bad uh, a bad decision sending these guys up. I mean, the, the cavalry's going to die anyway. The general's dead. Yeah, there you go. He's dead. There's so much stuff in there. There's never going to win that. Okay, so a lot of pikes also being set up here. We've got one for each faction. We have uh, Carthage, Epirus, and Nabate there. Carthage's general popping uh, some abilities. And there you go. Wow, look at that. I don't know when this happened, but Carthage is... Uh, not Carthage. Sparta's gone. Sparta is spent, uh, really. He's got a general. He's not got a general. Oh, his general is dead, though, I think. He's almost certainly dead. Uh, he's got an artillery left, is what I was trying to say. We've got a small unit here of Royal Spartans fighting. Is this literally one man? No, it's... Okay, it's a few more. The rest of them are just somewhere else. And here we go. So I wouldn't really be sending up these pikes into just normal fo like this. I'd just be sending up slowly. They could chop these guys down. But I mean, they will probably take out all these uh, all these archers. But there you go. So Sparta's gone. 
So it's becoming more of a... Okay, I didn't even see this. What is happening over here? So there's still a fight going here as well. So it's down to a, probably a 3v3. Uh, Egypt's actually got quite a bit left. He's still got a lot of Thorax Swords, which are just chilling here. He could surround these units. He's losing Thorax Swords and Pikes for no reason. He could just surround them. Um, but yeah, we've got a unit of Libyan Infantry and Caravan Guard just still doing, doing bits over there. Um, but this is going to be a concern. So they're going to have to assault through one way now, unless they're going to send troops all the way around, which, I mean, Egypt looks like he he might be doing. Oh, no, he's sending Thorax Swords back, I think, to go and deal with that. What is he doing? Um, but, yeah, a, a bit of a confused assault now, I think, by the attackers, certainly with Spartacon. They need to, Sparta needs to wait and attack at the same time. Attackers always need to attack at the same point, but, I mean, they're going to make uh, the defenders be punished for... Def Defending with uh, so many pikes. I certainly wouldn't. I just put one pike unit here. Let that unit take up all the ammo. And I'd personally put Epresses up there because uh, it's the cheapest unit. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, actually, I wouldn't even put the pikes up. I put Rakeem Palace Guard up. But here we go. A column formation being formed, and these guys are going to get around. Uh, I don't know whether they were realizing what happened here. I don't know if the defenders have fallen asleep. But get this pike unit back in there now. Um, you can probably just kill these these uh, spear guard spear guard these uh, sword masters off. I'm having a mare with names today, it would seem. We have um, some wooden as spears up here, another good unit, and here we go. They're going to try and get through over here. They're really trying to force a way through, and they are going to get their way through. These pikes, they need to get a move on. They need to move. Oh yeah, look at that. Poor guys. But they are. Uh, Making themselves very vulnerable because they're getting behind enemy lines. There's a lot of enemies still behind enemy uh, behind their lines, so uh, they may have to deal with them. A Hellenic Royal Guard just chasing down these Spartan uh, these Spartan archers. I just would leave them, leave them, let them do their own thing. Um, just use Carthage as general to go and chase them down. But there you go, already units breaking. Swordmass is gone, and this uh, spear wall. Okay, it's not wooden or spear. Spear wall. Um, They'll probably die. <laughs> Look at this. They're just fighting in a corner against pikes. I surround this unit and just get it over and done with. Get it, get rid of it so you can mobilize this pike unit again. It's going to be needed. There's a huge wall of uh, Ger Germans out here. Scary Germans that are uh, shouting and just making a load of angry noises. But, I mean, they've got a good pike line. Um, they've got a lot of African pikes here. The Keen Palace Guard. Good spear unit. They'll hold the sides. And then what we've got coming in. We've got no Mercenary Noble Fighters. They'll hold. They're just about as scary as the Germans, so they're a, they're a good match, an equal match. Then we've got uh, archers coming in out of ammo. I wonder whether this uh, artillery piece got used, ever. It's just chilling there on its own. And that's a shame, the Hellenic Royal Guard is going to uh, get focused on. I wouldn't bother. What are they doing? They're just capturing this gate or this tower. Yeah, and they just died for it. They shouldn't have gone out this far. They should have just, as soon as they realized that Sparta was retreating and just going to have two units of archers left, just hide behind here, which is what uh, Nabate is doing, the small unit. And get Carthage's general, because he's the only cavalry unit they've got left, run these archers down. So why you got to keep a few units of cavalry, or just certainly a unit of cavalry. Run down archers, though. Easy to get. I mean, there's always the option for uh, the defenders to surround these guys. I mean, it's a long way for them to go, and I don't think they have enough men. They're probably better just defending this one choke point, but it's going to be a big old grind for both sides. I mean, there's a lot of pikes. This is the problem. Uh, Egypt's lost all his pikes on the wall over there, and Swaby has no pikes. Carthage, I would have thought, might have brought some pikes himself, but no, he's just got bringing sacred bands to the, to the field. He's got Libyan infantry. And Samanite warriors, but no pikes. Which isn't the worst move since you're attacking as Carthage. You could just not bring pikes. Um, but when the defenders probably you know are going to bring pikes. And are playing as three pike factions. You probably want to. Or, I mean, Navate is not really a pike faction, but they do have pikes. Oh dear. Those mercenary noble warriors look like they're, uh, they're dying off now. Or noble fighters, not warriors. Yeah, look at this. They're keeping them now at pike length, and uh, they'll just poke away. They're just got to get more ammo up here. 
More ammo, more archers with ammo, but I mean, Navate is doing a good job focusing down any uh, longbow hunters that still live. And as long as they get them down to like, I mean, 33 and 52. 52 is still a bit concerning, but uh, these units are pretty pretty weak. Sparta really needs to get his ammo around here, because I'm pretty sure he's still got ammo. And he's got a crew. It's just, that's not going to do much. But I mean, if he gets his ammo around to uh, shoot Carthage's uh, pikes and Ephesus pikes, that could be a huge... Huge victory for the uh, attackers. Because they need every bit of ammo they can get. I don't think they've even got any. Like, most of the things. I think they've used all their ammo, haven't they? Carthage looks like he's sending a uh, Sacred Bound all the way around to attack on the other side. Which is not a bad idea, but it's something they should have done a long time ago. I don't know why Carthage was here. This was Egypt and Swaby side. I mean, Egypt's now just occupied and killing this. Egypt's lost his general at some point, I've just realised. I've missed, like, when half this stuff. I don't even remember, like, what Egypt's general was. Um, but, yeah, so Egypt's lost his general, so no wonder he's having a hard time. And it looks like they've just broken that Thorax Swords up here. Hellenic Royal Guard breaking. Yeah, it's just Hellenic Royal Guard. You could break these two units easily. Especially when these Thorax Swords are still down here doing nothing. But the Bounce of Power... Don't know how they're planning to win this one, guys. Um, it's still looking rough. Swaby, obviously being the uh, biggest factor in this. If they can get Swaby's general, that'll be really good. But the Noble Raiders are pretty, or Riders, sorry, are pretty low. But they've got nothing else that can go out there. And now Swaby's just going to sit around and just see what happens. We've got a small engagement here with Carthage. Oh, there you go. As I, ex as I expected, Carthage is uh, sending out his general uh, to deal with Sparta's archers. There we go, run these guys down, these Cretan archers. And there we go, that's got rid of most of the ammo that the attackers have left, I'm pretty sure. Poor Cretan archers. I, the small unit caravan guard, you might, or Rakeem Palace guys, you might as well send back. No point getting them shot. What have we got coming over here? We've got Mercenary Noble Fires, there's no need to have these guys over here. Or maybe there is. Maybe there is. This is a concern. This is a concern. Carthage is sending his whole, whole army round. And Swaby pull, Swaby's pulling his back. Oh, he's got uh, he's got ammo left. Oh, that's good. Bail Eric Slingers still have ammo. I mean, but the towers are going to be a huge problem. This is the thing. These towers, they don't even need archers themselves to defend. It's just the towers. They'll do any damage. But, I mean, look at the pile of bodies that's forming up around here. It's not looking good. A lot of them are defenders, though, as well. A lot of mercenary... Noble fighters down there. Got a lot of pikemen dead down there. They've still got plenty of pikes of their own. But they are running out of stuff. They're only down to about 8 or so units. And most of them are pretty banged up. I'm going to just fast forward for a little bit. I don't think it needs a cut. Um, but I just I want to see what Carthage does. It's not got much time left. So Carthage needs to make a decision soon. He's sending half his army back now. Clearly he thinks it's... Three units would be enough, and it might actually be enough. Um, certainly, with them two of them being sacred band, and his general, that might be enough to pun push a way through. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We will see. It looks like the Hellenic Royal Guard is breaking finally over here. So is the Libyan infantry. These, I don't even know if the attackers are even aware of this is still happening. They're clearly not aware of these two units. Either they're bugged out, or Egypt's just gone AFK, or I don't know. Egypt's this is literally Egypt's only men left. He surely has realised that he's got two units of thorax swords down here that need dealing with. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make a quick cut, I think, and I'm just going to... Uh, well, just until Carthage gets around, because there's nothing else really going on. So I'll make a quick cut, so I'll see you guys in a moment. So here we go, another charge and another burning ball, and look at that one, that one's insane. So it looks like, and it's gone in behind and got some more guys that have just heard the screams. Berserkers as well, really good units to take out. But here we go. So it looks like Swaby and Carthage is going to be making an assault over here. Nabate has got some archers to take the first brutal charge. And then he's, uh, they're going in madly. Hex bearers as well. Some really elite units going in from uh, Swaby. And he lost a lot of them to, uh, to the fiery balls of justice. But we've got a uh, pikeman here ready from Carthage to fight against their brothers. The attacking Carthage army. And here we go. Look at this. This is brutal. 
I mean, this is the weak spot to attack. It's the Rakeem Palace guy, but it's still not that weak. There's still a really good unit. And there's still pikes behind them. This is going to be brutal. Um, but yeah, so I mean, what have we got here? We've got Samanite Warriors. These guys are just going to have a rough time. Egypt has finally got his men ready uh, and set up. He's also helping on this side. He did finish off these guys here. He's got a small unit of Hellenic Royal Guard that I don't know if they can get off the walls or not. They're just a bit bugged out. Look at them there. They're doing a bit of a dance. They were anyway. They just, yeah, left, right, left, right. And then we've got Carthage over here. He's set three units of Sacred Band ready. They don't know that they have units here. The defenders don't know. Uh, the attackers, sorry, don't know that the defenders have units here. They are hidden. Very much hidden. Um, if I was Carthage, I'd be trying to get my general out somehow still while there's a chance. To possibly... Uh, actually, I don't know. There's options to do both. Obviously, you can get your general out and you can try and do some hammering anvils. But, I mean, there's both generals for the attackers are much more healthy than yours. And keeping yours inside might help with morale. But this pike line is uh, certainly a concern for the attackers. It's a very, very strong pike line. And uh, I think they are now all out of options. I think they are now all out of options. In the missile department, anyway. And there you go. Carthage's general has been sent in. This is a bold move. I wouldn't have done this. There's no real bonus to doing this. They have got pikes of their own, though. This is good. It's a small unit of Hellenic Royal Guard from Egypt, but at least it's some sort of pike response. It might be enough. I don't think it will be, but it might be. Here we go. Sacred Band over here. They're also engaging. I would have, if I was the uh, palace guard, just held my ground. There's no point getting a charge off and then spear charge not going to be great anyway. The pikes now need to get in and help with this. And they can m mop up these sacred band if they do the, do this right. Keep these uh, Rakeem palace guard here. Get the pikes in. Okay, that's a big push through. Those pikes definitely sort of got through that line. I don't know, oh, not those pikes, those sacred band. But hopefully they'll get pushed back here. It didn't look too bad. Maybe just because both units were re, re, like adjusting and they got through. Who knows? But they are pulling back now, realizing the pikes are in it. It's a good idea. They could possibly sneak a unit around both flanks. Definitely is an option. I think they're going to try it on this flank here. But this flank out is the probably... I try it on this flank. This is a big gap here. You could definitely get something through here. Because these units... Yeah, this unit's going to get stuck if it, by the Rakim Guard if it goes in here. But, yep, yeah, there you go. He's Instead, he's just going to engage again. Oh, no, he sort of got through. This unit has sort of got through. Um, uh, that's, that's a pull through. This here, you can see, that's a pull through. Um, that was a pull, yeah. He could have done that a lot more less scummy, and he could have just gone through there. But, okay, so those pikes are dead. Unfortunately. Um, that's a shame. And this general might die as well now because of that. But oh, he looks like he pulled them back through. I guess because he realized what he did. Who knows? But uh, anyway, at least he was uh, honest. And it looks like he's... Well, he's got mercenary noble fighters coming over. It's probably why he pulled them back through. Not because he cheated. More because he... Uh, he's going to lose them anyway if he uh, just carried on doing what he was doing. To these mercenary noble fights. I certainly send these guys in though. They're going to be needed. Swords against these spears. They might actually win that fight. Uh, you don't really need more over here. This is a very nice line. I mean these African pikes are a bit weak. But they've got a lot of troops here. They've got more pikes here ready. They don't need to worry too much. Egypt is going to send his troops in to die. They are the most expendable of all the troops. They are breaking now as well. The pikes look like they did a bit of damage, so they got all the way to the front line and pushed these guys back a bit, but they're now breaking. It's <laughs> just anything that comes up against this pike line, it just breaks. It just it just stands for about five minutes, breaks, and then it's like, yep, we'll come back um, again at some point. Don't mind us. And there you go. Everything's Most of the stuff's falling back, or Egypt stuff's like retreating, breaking. Gone. Yeah, fully gone. Shattered. Uh, I think, he, yeah, he's got one unit over there, but that's just gone. Uh, balance power is now looking a lot more favourable for the defenders than it was earlier, put it like that. 
It still is not that favourable. I don't know what the Carthaginian general here is doing, though. Getting himself shot is uh, one way of putting it by uh, arch towers. And there you go, Sacred Band now breaking. So this is what happens when you kind of push through. Uh, this, things like this happen. And there you go, he's breaking. He's fully gone. And swords against spears, yeah, it's never a good idea. I mean, they're also probably exhausted, these units. Yeah, very tired. And most of these uh, defenders... Actually, this unit here is very tired as well. But most of these units, I'd say, were fresh. Uh, certainly the general is. The pikes aren't. But there you go. So the general for Carthage is gone. So it's coming down to Swaby. Swaby has got to find some way through this pike line. Um, and I can't see one, in fairness. But they've done a good job. Actually, I don't know. There might be one. African Pikes nearly broken through. They need to get a unit back over here and quick. It looks like it's going to be another unit of African Pikemen. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so they might actually break through this line. They might break through this line. If you look at what's left, I'm just bird's eye. That is what's left, really. It is extremely close, as expected. Um, and there you go. Okay, they haven't really pushed through. That is, a, There is a gap there, which is what I was telling the Sacred Band to do earlier. So telling, telling, a, telling a player to do... Uh, in the future. Uh, watching a video from the past and I'm trying to tell him now. Do this, do that. Oh. And there you go. This pike unit's now breaking. They need to start reforming a new line. Um, do the defenders. I'd just start forming one maybe here. They're going to take these towers, but that is a shame. They come, it's come down to three units. Did they actually get that general? They did. I think that general just did decide to just die in that corner. Bizarre move, but yeah, it's gonna come down to a pike unit a Rakeem palace guard Yeah, that's unfortunate. I bet some of these pike units have got an insane amount of kills But it doesn't matter if they've got an insane amount of kills they're gonna die now anyway They're not gonna be able to celebrate their their victory or their def Or their amount of kills. I don't know if they were actually even gonna win They still, like they still have a lot of troops. I don't know who could win it could go either way. This one is insanely close they can get, I was about to say, if these units held, exasperated there, I just thought, if these units could hold just a little longer, they could have rear charged and broke all of these sword masters and turned the tide, but it's going to come down to uh, three units. If I had them now, I would find the main capture point, which I'm not sure where it is, I presume it's here, uh, which is a bit bizarre, yeah, the main cap po capture point won't show, show itself, but I presume it's in here or in here. And I just... Actually, it's definitely not here. You can't get in there. It's here. I just defend both flanks and just pray. Oh, no. It's here, obviously. Duh. What a weird spot to have it. Um, but, yeah. Just defend this area here now from Swaby. You've got to route... If you route this general, this is a big, bold move. I'm pretty sure this general can only get it down to half. He can't actually fully cap it because he's not dismounted. That's the thing with Rome. Um, cavalry can't capture anything. He's just gonna, yeah, he's gonna walk out, go out that breach. That breach actually finally might come in use. There's not much yeah he can do. Rakeem Palace Guard, I just get back on the point, defend these uh, from these sword masters. Don't chase the cavalry, just stand here. You can have enough probably to beat these guys. You have pikes, put them in the center of your line, then defend defend with the flanks with the uh, two other units. You'll be fine. Mercy noble fires. Oh, the cavalry's coming though. The cavalry is coming. Oh, that's not a bad charge. Now I would... Yeah, okay, now if I was the pikes, I'd start pushing forward. Because they've got literally nothing else to help. They're, all their units are in here. Help this um, noble fire unit out. You can kill the general, possibly. There you go. You're poking these men to death. Poke, poke, poke. He's coming down to very little, though. If the general dies, which I think he might have... Oh, the general has broken. Oh, no. Swaby. No, Swaby. Oh, no. That's all you had to do was not send your general in. Don't send him in a frontal charge. Just could have, like, got him round. Egypt's now setting up his Hellenic Royal Guard now. It's a bit too late, Egypt. Egypt's certainly been a bit of a letdown. No offense uh, to, to the attackers. Or to Egypt. Um, he's been a bit slow. He had troops, like, ages for ages down here. He could have cleaned up, like, this those uh, two towers... A long time ago with two units of Thorax Pikes. There you go. I think the defenders have got this now. Looking at the balance of power. It's like the Swordmaster unit is the only unit left. And there was a arch unit here. But I think it's broken. I'm not sure. 
but they're going to charge straight into pikes. This is going to be painful. And yeah, Rakeem Palace Guard and uh, no general. Not going to help. Um, but yeah, so it was a really good battle. So well played to the defenders. A 4v3 and they won. Um, so there you go. It doesn't matter. Numbers do not matter. If you can play it right and defend two really good choke points, um, well, you can win. But I mean, in the end, the choke points didn't really matter. They did break through the attackers and uh, they just couldn't quite clinch it at the end. It's really unfortunate. So um, well played uh, to the defenders. Thank you, Drunk Norwegian, for sending this in. Uh, it was a really, really good battle. Uh, playing as Epirus, so we'll quickly look at him first. Um, so he had his Hellenic Royal Cavalry, his general get 135 kills, his pikes, which were at the main defense, uh, like against Swaby for ages, 251 kills, 119 with his others, which is not bad, but I mean, you could have just brought more pike, normal pikemen, because uh, they did the job, and they tr cost a lot less. Um, Royal Peltasts, 269, best one out of the lot, very, very good, and then uh, his arch is 101, it's not awful. Big Tasty, who was playing as Carthage. Did very, very well with his uh, Mercenary Noble Fires game, 213. Excellent. Uh, his Arch is also doing actually very well, all getting over 100. The Sling is not doing too bad either. His uh, Mercenary Scutiari getting 100 dead. They're actually not too bad, it would seem. They seem to be able to perform quite well. They seem to perform quite well in a few co a couple of battles now. Um, Libyan Infantry uh, doing well, 245. That's excellent, actually, for Libyan Infantry. I never see them get into the 200s, or rarely. Um, and then 250 with his... African Pikeman and 190 with the other. So he's an excellent with his pikes. And then we have Donna here, who uh, was playing as Nabatea. I presume like the funds were lower because everyone was just bringing like really low tier units or quite a lot of low tier units. Um, so he's did he's done well with what he had available. And his general in the end was the deciding factor for the defenders. He was a really fresh unit, 143 kills. He did really well. His caravan guard just weren't worth bringing. Just they were awful. Uh, there's a lesson there for them. For Donna, uh, but then also the Navitain Axe Warriors, about 60 uh, kills. It's not bad, but they're not great. They will fight on the walls, and um, they have missile capability, and that's about the only thing I find good with them. And then 179 kills with his pikes. That's not bad actually either. Not as good as Carthage, but he did well. And his Rakeem Palace Guard 111, which is not awful either. And his Desert Hot Plates. It's just better not to speak about them. <laughs> they not getting many kills either. Egypt. Uh, who's played by Big Chungus. Uh, there is his results. He got 149 kills with Thorax Swords. I mean, that's not too bad. His general is a Karanian Kar Axeman. That's just... No, that was just never a good idea. This unit's so weak. It's the cheapest general unit. And it's just not worth bringing. Um, Hellenic Royal Guard, 112. And that's kind of it. His, pi uh, his army didn't do great. He was the first really to be knocked out by the attackers. Uh, of the attackers. Great Gold, who's playing a Swaby, who uh, had a really tough job, but he did really well. Uh, 190 kills with the Swordmasters, 230 with another, very good, his Swordmasters all did excellent. Um, his Round Shield Swordsman getting 120, that's not bad either. His Hex Bearers only getting 5 kills. I'm pretty sure they're a pretty elite unit, um, so, or like, they're a very useful unit, so it's a bit of a shame. His Berserk is only getting 100, uh, not 100, 51 kills, not even 100 between them. And his Archers, for Longbow Hunters, that's not too bad, to be honest, they're pretty low, uh, armor so they often get focused down so they did okay and it's generally getting 98 kills um nicholas uh christoy who was playing a sparta did actually pretty well i think for play for sparta on the offensive he did quite well um getting 116 kills with his pikes it's not awful spartan hot plates getting 137 and his royal spartans here getting 111 i'm surprised they did worse than his uh, spartan hot plates but his general just died and like that just cost him his flank so 96 men for his is not awful and his archers did okay as well getting about a hundred, over 100 kills and then Cavaleus Lucas who's playing against the attacking Carthage army 156 kills with his Samanite warriors 150 kills with his other ones and his living infantry also did pretty well six, 166 his most renewable fighters did pretty poorly and his sacred band again also broke so quickly it's a bit of a shame um, but yeah there you go guys there are the results the defenders well done to them I will just congratulate them one more time and uh, if you enjoyed them, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment uh, to show your support for the channel. Yeah, if you haven't sub uh, subscribed and you are watching, subscribe now. Uh, because why not? <laughs> um, and let's try and get to th 1,300 uh, subs uh, by the end of the month. We're really close, and I uh, appreciate all the support. And until next time, Legionnaires, hope to see you in the next battle. And until then, bye for now.